after a uh, long break I'm uh, back with more Arcana Craft and well there is a bit of an issue the server is not paid up and my current funds are uh, not actually in any way uh, shape or form uh, acceptable uh, to donate myself mm. but well oh well it was fun while it lasted let's say we'll call it like that so this is my infusion altar area and here we have the furnaces and the alembics well I've got one with uh, five because that is only very rarely usable because it is only usable for items that have actually five essentia or more like I don't know a uh, portal or something or an, uh, an beacon may have or a the wands might have actually and Yeah, like a wand actually has a whole lot of essentia inside it, but you can't all you can't get them all out because you can only get a maximum of five. And I'm not sure if you drain it fast enough that it will get everything anyway. But yeah, I was not going to <laughs> burn my wand. Uh, so yeah, nice. And I've built this uh, with pedestals all around it. So um, for instance, if I want to build the atomic restorer. It needs uh, eight items around it and uh, well the tomium block in the middle and it has a very high uh, instability so it's uh, definitely possible to uh, make everything go purpley gooey stuff and well <laughs> that sometimes happens and I haven't been exactly uh, well all that uh, anal about uh, replacing them with uh, normal stone because I just let them drop down and yeah, these are all uh, warded jars with uh, labels on them, and uh, I've connected them all to these um, furnaces uh, and alembics. So burn something there, and it will just find whichever uh, jar with a label still has uh, room in it. And well, once they're full, like this one, uh, and I have another one, then I'll just remove it and put it in the chest over here. So yeah, I've got some uh, full ones, but now let me uh, quickly gather the materials to build the Atomic Restore. And uh, let's see if this actually works to not build enough or not build more purple gooey stuff. Because that's what happens when you mess up. So yeah, let's uh, get some materials. Alrighty then, I've gathered all the materials and I've put the uh, materials in the setup as it is uh, suggested in the Tomonomicon. Something like a Tonomicon. You know, it's something like, akin to, it's not an actual Tonomicon, because it's a Tomonomicon. But oh well. So, a uh, Tomium block in the center, and then on the corners, not in the openings, because, well, you can also start at openings, but I like starting at the corners. So, enchanted fabric, and then uh, Tomium, iron, gold, etc. And at the corner, and then in the center, corner, center, corner, corner, center. So, that's what I did. And I've uh, built a 7x7, seven seven, of course, uh, pedestal setup. 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 7. So uh, let's start over here with uh, the enchanted fabric, and then uh, middle, center, or uh, center corner, center corner, etc. But it still has a very high chance for instability. And, well, with replacing all this stuff, I didn't actually replace uh, skulls. So let's get some skulls. And I'm not really sure if it matters what kind of skulls you use. But, well, I've got uh, plenty of skulls, so let's just use some uh, Wither Skeleton Skulls. And I don't need all that many. So it uh, has a, less, oh, a slower, li lower chance sorry, uh, to actually go wrong. And... Me, me, me. Plunk, plunk, plunk. And I'm not sure if um, you should actually also... Um, Make sure that these are the same. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. <laughs> oh, just a sec. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, finished uh, the skulls. And now we need uh, 20 Fabrico, 15 Instrumentum, 10 Ordo, and 15 Precantatio. I also needed the Precantatio to build enough uh, Tomium for a block. So, let's see if we have enough. Well, 28. This suit should be enough. And then Fabrico, Fabrico. Me, me, me. I don't think I have that actually. Uh, well, there's the instrumentum. That's not enough either. So I guess I'll have to uh, burn some tools or maybe some furnaces or something. So yeah, let me go do that. Alrighty then. I just uh, burned some steak and, well, not 
stone pickaxes because those actually don't do instrumentum but just some flint because this is for the fabrico the well little hammer on the right and flint is for uh, the instrumentum because it's well really easy so now I have uh, enough and uh, well let's see if it explodifies Pating. And everything is uh, placed correctly and well this should uh, prevent all sorts of uh, badness from happening but very high instability might still just do it anyway because well <laughs> there's a random uh, chance in it or something well there's something that went wrong no no <laughs> Okay, so now it should be taking the items. Yeah, it seems like. So even with very high instability, well, it messed up one cobblestone and it hit me. No! Oh man! Oh wait, did it work? I guess it did. Yeah, so even with um, everything being correct and well, stuff being um, well surrounded by uh, well skeleton heads and uh, well everything else, it still actually managed to mess up. And well, my solution to this problem <laughs> is to uh, drop it in uh, the water below, which is probably not the best <laughs> idea in the world. <laughs> but well, it uh, kind of works. <laughs> and yeah, then you get this purple stuff uh, falling down in the water, and it just stays here until you well do something with it. <laughs> I think. But yeah, let's uh, not worry about that right now, because and then it will create something that drowns you or uh, that draws you underwater. But yeah, that's fine. So let me uh, go fix that, and uh, we'll see how to use this uh, repair facility from uh, Tomcraft. And I'm not sure if what I'm doing here is uh, acceptable or will just spread the taint all over the place. But well, I let it drop in water, and then I'll just fill up the water with uh, dirt. And it seems to go away, even though the color of the water still well looks a bit off. <laughs> but oh well, that's fine. Let's uh, check out this uh, Talmic Restorer. It needs to be uh, hooked up to uh, well Essentia tubes. And the Tomonomicon claims that there are three that actually uh, work best: Ordo, Fabrico, and Instrumentum. And well, I've got those. Uh, Kinda enough, instead of, well, only Instrumentum needs some more. But, well, there's Ordo here. And I guess Ordo there. <laughs> Ordo here, Ordo there. Ordo everywhere. So, I don't want to link it up to this entire thing, because that might actually then use um, the less efficient uh, ones. So, we'll just need some more Instrumentum, and I'll go set it up. And, well, first, let's see if we got some more Flint. Uh, so yeah, let me check that and uh, let me see what Yoshi wants. <laughs> Alrighty then, here at my other repair facility from uh, Ars Magica 2. And I've extended my uh, light nexi. And you don't actually need a double uh, pillar for the next nexus. And the multi or the plural of nexus can also be nexus, but you can also use nexi, it just depends on your preference. Because the Latin is Nexus, but well, the English is Nexi, and they're both allowed. At least, I allow them both. So yeah, I've got uh, four Light Nexi, so that actually should be enough energy to repair almost anything. And I actually um, had a hard time finding something that was well broken enough to check how much it would uh, take. But yeah, I uh, put my three jars that are the most effective at repairing uh, back here. So it's connected to the side with uh, the re repair facility. 
and then uh, I moved the uh, uh, furnace into Alembics over here so if those actually uh, go out I can just uh, burn some stuff over here and uh, have some new and I guess uh, the leftovers then will uh, I don't know what I'll do with those I don't know how often I will use this I just wanted to make it so yeah let's see and it's using Perdicio that's strange it shouldn't be you <laughs> oh well maybe it has Perdicio on its own and it's transferring this stuff into uh, Perdicio it is draining the instrumentum pretty fast and it wasn't all that broken in the first place oh wow oh well at least it stopped zero perdicio oh the perdicio is, is how much it is actually broken so it was uh, broken for 300 let's see how much the four durability from the pickaxe are it's actually four so it's uh, uh, one by one and it prefers instrumentum for these things and I don't know maybe for armor and these are all self-repairing oh well the boots aren't self-repairing so these have also four durability loss and we've got uh, 6, 52 and 39 Blunk. 5 yeah it definitely prefers the instrumentum and well that is fine I guess I can make uh, lots of uh, stone axes but those don't stack so <laughs> that is well suboptimal uh, at least but those are very cheap so it's just a matter of standing here and letting them burn 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 and that will be fine but with uh, the four light next time uh, it has also plenty of energy uh, to just repair everything with uh, the uh, arcane reconstructor even though this seems to go way faster and well for something that's uh, I want it now this might be the way to go and for something that well I'll just repair it and uh, we'll see later that is the arcane uh, reconstructor definitely oh yeah and the air affinity it's still going on so well having a roof over your head means uh, you don't get blown away but not having a roof over your head well then we we you're just a mark of the wind unless of course you sneak because sneaking people definitely are, are totally immune to wind effects and no she you know sneaking and we we oh yeah and I was experimenting with uh, the slime blocks which I don't have on me at the moment okay let's see it's probably over here of course when you sneak you're very slow but yeah yeah the bounce pads those are funny and interesting but I don't want to use them during the rain so yeah let's not do that but it, yeah that was the uh, our repair facility from Tomcraft and well it works and I guess I should check if it also works um, if the instrumentum is gone so hmm well <laughs> I'll have to create some tools <laughs> and then break them because well, all this uh, Ars Magica stuff has self-repair on it, so it doesn't need to be repaired by anything other. And I don't think... Oh, well, this we can check if I can actually repair the Tinker's Construct mm. stuff. I don't know, I doubt it. Uh, and I probably should put a roof above that as well. Hmm. Oh, well you can j walk up or sneak up uh, stairs or half steps eh. and let's see does this work no it does not accept Tinker's Construct but yeah the Atomic Restorer that's uh, a very nice item even though uh, if you already have to repair it's not all that necessary but still it's good to have several ways so yeah thanks for watching and uh, later